I'm here with Bo Resnick uh, from the Susquehanna River League. Now, uh, my first question is, where exactly is that located? Uh, we're located uh, near Wilkes-Barre or Scranton, if any of uh, our viewers here are familiar with either of those towns. Pennsylvania? Yes. yes. In, uh, northeastern Pennsylvania. Of course, yeah. Everyone knows Scranton from The Office. I'm a yeah. giant Office fan myself. So uh, tell Michael Scott. Well, he, I guess he's gone. Tell Dwight hi next All time right, you see him. All right, if I see him around. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> now, your league won numerous NWLA Whiffy Awards in your first year among professional wiffle ballers, including New League of the Year, National Player Nickname of the Year, Video of the Year, and Columnist of the Year. Pretty impressive. How was it being recognized so many times in just your first year? Oh, it was really awesome. Um, our goal was best new league from when we started the league. We actually did come in with a good amount of experience because we had played competitively previously, which uh, helped us to figure out what we wanted to do with the setup of the league. But um, really what helped a lot, I would have to say, is our teams who uh, called and joined us last year. Uh, really how we got nearly all of our nine teams last year was that just we uh, went around and hung flyers at local businesses with my phone number on it and we got calls and uh, we had one team that uh, ended up dropping out in the middle of the season but I just really have to say thank you to our other uh, seven teams other than my own that uh, came together and really were able to make the league what it was last year. Absolutely. Yeah. Now putting your phone number out all around town that didn't lead to any like dangerous phone calls or anything uh, did it? I got one prank one but it was pretty funny so I didn't mind. All right. Everything else was legit. <laughs> I was just wondering. Uh, now the SRL received the most votes to be the newest team added to the 2014 NWLA tournament. Do you guys feel any pressure to do well in this tournament because of that? Uh, unfortunately, we really ended up coming with no pressure. We okay. uh, we were hoping to get a few more people to come out. Unfortunately, some people had commitments, so uh, we didn't really end up being able to come with the most competitive squad this year, but uh, it's still just been great to soak up the atmosphere and just try to do as best we can, and especially with all the stories we'll have and the people who are interested, uh, who couldn't come because of commitments rather sure. than a lack of interest, we're really going to try to talk it up next week at our field and uh, hopefully bring a team that uh, can compete for a championship next year because we definitely have some good players. Absolutely, absolutely. Now that actually leads into my next question, which was a roster question. You guys do only have three players, um, which is the first team to utilize a ghost runner in the NBA. I was going to say, I mean, how is, that, how is that working out for you thus far? And uh, obviously, I mean, seems to be a disadvantage. How, how do you, how do you yeah. try to combat that, I guess? Um, I guess there really is no combat. It's been a, a little bit unfortunate. Um, as I said, we're just trying to compete the best we can. Hopefully we do win a game at some point. But, uh, you know, next year, a lot of what we're thinking uh, just from watching the competition, talking to people during our own games, we're just thinking like, oh man, like, we're just going to do the best we can, but we know if we get this guy on this sure. guy next year, uh, we can take these teams on. Absolutely. That'll, yeah. be, that'll be cool to see. Um, which we, uh, from this year's current lineup, uh, do you hope you get to play this weekend just so you can kind of try them out, uh, maybe, you know, get some experience? Which league do you hope you face? Um... It's definitely going to be exciting, actually, to play uh, the Skibby League in yeah. a couple of hours. Sure. It's a league I've actually read about. I've learned a lot on uh, yeah. on your website and everything. Um, that should be a fun game. I also know the guys from uh, WSM decently well, just from uh, talking online and meeting them here. That would be fun uh, to play against them. Uh, I'm definitely excited to, uh, even though we probably won't make it all that far, I'm excited to watch some of the really competitive games at the end with like WSM and... Uh, Tampa Bay and the uh, freaky franchise. Don't team. don't set yourself short. Sure. You never know. Uh, we'll see you could be right there with them. Absolutely. absolutely. By new means, uh, do I want to give off the impression that we're not out there trying our sure. best? No, absolutely. Uh, I guess last question. Tell the viewers who are watching uh, one thing they might not know about the SRL that they can't learn from your website. Something that make you got makes you guys unique. I think we're very unique in our style of play, and I know it's not the. Uh, preferred one amongst a lot of leagues, and I'm not necessarily trying to change anybody's mind, but uh, I feel like sometimes when I describe our style of play, it confuses a lot of people. Can you go into that yeah, I'm really hoping to get some games on YouTube, if not this year, then next year, but uh, we play, uh, this, is, this style of play has been really foreign to us, because we don't have pictures poison or anything like that. We actually use, um, we have scuffed balls, which is different. We use loco bats, which are big bats. And then uh, kind of to even that out, our fences are over 100 feet. Wow. And uh, we have five players in the field and no pitchers, boys. And so hopefully next year if we get a bigger squad also, 
we could uh, try to practice the style a little right. bit better before we come here. But um, I really want to get some YouTube videos up so people can see uh, how that method of play works for us. Because I think a lot of times when I describe it, it's hard. Uh, it's a little bit difficult for them to relate to, just since I think a lot of the leagues are more similar to how it's played here, sure. which is a lot different, and it has been a big adjustment for us. Yes, and that is that is a big adjustment. There are a lot of leagues that are adjusting. Uh, some of them have adjusted their style of play to match this, or, but you think you're going to stick with your unique style because oh, absolutely. It's, you yeah, like definitely. it. You We're like not it trying home. to change anybody else's mind. Sure. We understand that this is how most leagues play, but I think everybody in our league, myself included, thinks it's a style that works very well for us. That's good. Yeah. That's good to hear. Well, Bo, I really appreciate oh, you being you. here. And good luck to your team in the, 